steel kukris, we're going to switch to these uh, rubber and boom, you hit that thumb, it's going to break. It's going to come right open. Same thing with over here, if we hit that, you know, we might just get the tip in. Actually, just hit the blade out of there instead of hitting. This is for Cora. Um, she, this will be basically part of her home defense. At, right, at this point, um, she's working on getting a handgun, but this she'll be able to use uh, you know it's big enough where it can do a lot of damage but yet you can use it in a hallway it's not like a sword or anything and um, here it is she gets to hold it for the first time and also I want to show her kind of how to use it real quick you know so um, we have a couple traders and I did this one up for myself I really liked how chorus turned out and so both sides will actually shave. It's almost like a, a, a big knife now. So, without further ado, do, this give a little bit of instruction on how to use a bigger blade. Now, are you going to have your son come in? Yes. Okay. So, uh, we're not going to go real hard or anything, especially you know since we're not wearing hand or eye protection. I'm just going to go over some of the basics that Lynn taught me uh, a couple of years ago at the NRA convention in Houston. So when we have a bigger blade, um, it's much different than having a five and a half inch folder, although you can use some of the same techniques with wrist articulation, a vertical whip, instead of just pointing and slashing regularly. You can actually, uh, when you use your wrist like this, you can get in a lot of different angles and uh, stop the target or the threat in a very easy way. So instead of having the steel kukris, we're going to switch to these uh, rubber trainers from Cold Steel. Um, so when we have a threat, either with a firearm or a knife, our point is, is not to hurt the person, it's not to kill the person, but it's to stop the threat. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so in order to do that, if someone is armed with a knife, uh, a tool, a bat or something, what we want is to stop the person. So pull out your blade like this real quick. You can see the closest target that he has on me is my hand, and it's the same here with me. So if I can stop or dis, uh, like disable his hand, he can't use his weapon anymore. So, I mean, obviously we're not gonna do a lot of footwork because we're just doing some demonstrations, but a knife fight footwork is paramount. So one of the first things you can do, especially with the cold steel kukri, it's stiff enough, you can actually just hit the blade out of their hand. And a lot of times if someone isn't ready, it'll come flying out of their hand. The next thing we can do is actually we can hit their thumb. Or the thumb really works well because the handle almost acts like an anvil. This is, you know, a steel kukri or steel, uh, you know, buoy and boom, you hit that thumb, it's gonna break. It's gonna come right open. Same thing with over here, if we get that, you know, we might just get the tip in, especially if you have the false edge. You don't even have to start out with the false edge. You can just hit the hand, and more than likely, that blade's gonna come flying out of their hand. It's not guaranteed, but, you know, someone might be committed to a big slash, and all of a sudden, I'm open. He can actually just chop off my arm right there. So we wanna keep the slashes from being big, because he can come in. Same thing with this way. Now my face is open or my stomach's open. So we want to keep our knife in the danger zone. This is our shield. We can block with it if someone's coming at us. And we can maneuver over and get a part that's open. But our main objective, if someone has a, a big scary weapon and we are prepared with our cold steel kukri or a buoy, we can actually get that weapon out of their hand real quick. Or better yet, use wrist articulation if they're coming straight at me, I can get my arm out of the way and either chop off their hand or more than likely it's going to end up up here. And it'll just, you know, a, a, a medium swipe will get halfway through an arm or an elbow um, and basically that, that arm will be useless at that point. And at that point, I mean, unless, if, you know, this young gentleman's a lot taller than me, he could still come after me, but I could probably, you know, his arm is useless now and I could probably get him to the ground and call the authorities or something rather than, you know, taking his life. Um, but, you know, having a larger weapon, if we did need to totally disable somebody, 
it's very easy, especially if there's multiple opponents. But like what we want to do is we just want to stop the threat. You can see here that his blade is uh, you know long enough to get me as well. So most people they don't carry around a kukri. They're going to carry around a five. Well, they won't even carry around a five and a half inch blade. Um, they'll carry around. Um, what, what do you have on you, Cora? And this is a larger knife right here. This is a, a four and a quarter inch blade. But you can see if someone switch blades with me real quick, and this one's really sharp. Um, so present your blade real quick, and you know we're training. We're not really doing anything. Look how much reach I have now. Look how safe I am. I can, you know, he's not even near close to my hand. I can even, you know, he, he's three inches from my hand, which three inches is actually a whole lot in a knife fight. I can get in and take a step back. And so if you have the reach, especially you can get that kukri for $20 or less, you can sharpen it up and it, it'll be a sharp, uh, sharper than most people's pocket knives if you have someone sharpen it well. So you go, you can instead of hitting, you can just slice it off, and it, it, it's going to it's going to be effortless with the shape of the blade. So that's how you'd use a kukri or a larger blade in self-defense. Uh, that wasn't all this stuff. I mean, it could be lethal. Lethal. It's uh, it's a bodily harm. It's uh, you know, and so, but the main objective is is to stop the fight as quickly as possible. And the best way to do that is going to get their hand, the closest target, you know, that we have to us. And so that's all I have for this video, and uh, thank you for watching.